Here's some fantastic ways to farm scrap and luminite crystals in Remnant 2. We're going to go from normal to completely busted farms, so you can choose which one you want to do and how efficient you want to be. First up is a super easy one in the Labyrinth world. This is a great way to get luminite crystals and a bit of iron and scrap. First, fast travel at a crystal to the Labyrinth world and go to the Fractured Ingress Warp Point. From here, run up these steps on the left and then kill the elite mob that spawns at the back of the corridor. The mobs here, as well as the elite, usually drop between 40 and 60 scrap some iron and the elite itself usually drops a luminite crystal. This can be farmed back to back very quickly and is a great way to get luminite crystals even early game as soon as you have the labyrinth world. The way that you reset this very quickly is to either run back to the crystal and interact with it to respawn them or use the liquid escape potion from your inventory which is infinite and will take you back to the checkpoint and instantly respawn everything. But as mentioned before we have some even better ones that you might want to try out if you have other worlds available to you. But first here are some items that will massively help your farming. If you want to get some more XP, then here's a bunch of things that you can use. The Sage Stone Ring is a random purple drop on the world of Yisha, so just by exploring you might find this for yourself or you can reroll adventure mode. This one gives you 10% extra XP. You also have the Scholar Trait card that you get by defeating the final boss in the game. This can be leveled up to increase your percentage gained XP as well. On top of this, Mudtooth's Elixir is an item that you can occasionally purchase from him if he has it in stock. This is a timed buff that gives you yet again more percentage XP gained. And the final way to maximize your XP gains will be to play on a higher difficulty. But if you're purely farming for scrap, then here's some items that will help you out. The Scavenger's Bauble will increase your scrap pickups by 50%. This is another random purple drop that will be on the floor somewhere in Yisha. If you're struggling to find it, keep re-rolling in adventure mode and explore the area and hopefully you'll get it. The Vacuum Seal Ring is also fantastic as it gives you a larger pickup range so you automatically pick up items when you're nearby them. This one can be found on the Nerud world in the Tower of Unseen as a random drop. A great thing to know outside of these specific farms that we're going to go into is that by defeating bosses for a second time and getting items that you already have, those duplicates will automatically turn into hundreds of scrap. This means some bosses can reward you with over a thousand scrap per kill if you've already beaten them and got their drops before. For all of these farms, hotkeying the liquid escape potion that's an infinite potion that you can use in your inventory will be fantastic to quickly respawn enemies in an area and take you back to a checkpoint. So make sure to bind your liquid escape onto your hotbar. First up is on the Root Earth World at the Corrupted Harbor Warp Point. This area is chock full of elites that you can kill that drop scrap, some iron, and most importantly, luminite crystals. This is the farm that we use to get a ton of luminite crystals. Simply progress through the area and there's usually between six and seven elites in total, so you get a bunch of crystals per run. Defeat everything up until the final room that will have three elites inside of it. Once everything is taken care of and you have everything off the floor, use your liquid escape potion to go back to the starting checkpoint and repeat this farm over and over for as many times as you like to stock up on those crystals and the extra goodies you get along the way. A great farm for getting scrap is to farm the Blood Moon Essences as they sell for 125 scrap each. To get these, you will need to get a Blood Moon event in Yisha. So what you want to do is warp to Yisha in the Forbidden Grove and check if there's a Blood Moon in the sky, it would look like a giant red moon. If you don't see it, fast travel to a different biome and then back again and eventually you will find this for yourself. When you have the Blood Moon, you should find Wisps in the area of the Forbidden Grove. There's normally between three and five of them, but some people have even seen more. Simply shoot those wisps and each one that you kill will give you one Blood Moon Essence, which is effectively 125 scrap each. The best part is you can simply travel through any door and then go back and those wisps will have respawned. So you can really stock up on these and sell them for a ton of scrap. While we can't confirm it ourselves because we haven't seen it, some players are reporting that the Faithless Thicket area of Yisha can have upwards of nine wisps in its area. So if you find an area with more wisps in it, it's going to be better for you to farm. But next up is the most cheesy method by far that we've seen. And we have to shout out Oceanforge 0815 as they were the one that discovered this. This can get you an insane amount of scrap. We got over 100,000 very quickly by doing this. What you want to do is find the great sewer location in the Lossom world. To get this, simply re-roll this area in adventure mode with Morrow Parish being your starting point. From the Morrow Parish starting area, if you're lucky, there will be a side door that goes down into a sewer. If you don't 
see this re-roll the world, as you don't really want to progress any further than the very first map that you spawn in for Morrow Parish. The side door that goes into the sewer has a chance to be the Great Sewer, and within the Great Sewer you have a chance to have an event which will effectively have a bunch of cages with people inside of them. These cages will be hanging from the ceiling, and in one of them there will be a person with a purple item. You'll usually find him across the platform with the ladder. When you shoot this person, it will drop a severed hand that when you inspect it, it will have a ring on. However, certain weapons will cause this severed hand to drop repeatedly and very quickly. We tested with every weapon that we had each, and the only ones that work for this method is the merciless weapon or the flamethrower turret for the engineer. Simply shoot him over and over again with either of these weapons and pick up all the hands that drop. For each one that you inspect and take the ring off, you will get 250 scrap. This is even faster if you have a bunch of people in your party doing the same thing. As for every person that interacts with the hand in your inventory, it will remove the item. You simply rinse and repeat this until you have as much scrap as you want. We also advise that you do this in small batches each time. So which of these farming methods are you going to try out? Or do you have a particularly nice farming method that you've discovered? And if you have, then put it in the comments down below so we can all learn together as a community. And the two videos on screen now, we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to, but if you did like this video, you're probably going to like these ones too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.